Fishermen and environmentalists are filing lawsuits as the first waves of oily water reach the Louisiana shore. The looming environmental disaster could devastate this state's $3 billion fishing industry, and it couldn't be happening at a worse time. It's the beginning of spawning season for thousands of oysters, and millions of migratory birds nest along the coast. Stuart Smith is an attorney representing fishermen and environmental groups. Thanks for joining us. Uh, tell us about your lawsuit specifically. Well, basically, at this time, we're filing a um, lawsuit seeking injunctive relief against the responsible parties so that the court can supervise and make sure that the mess is cleaned up to appropriate standards. Um, we are not seeking damages at this time because the damages are unknown. Um, that's, but we are seeking injunctive relief to get the court involved. Is it your contention at this point that BP has mishandled any part of this? Well, obviously, uh, BP uh, has made several errors with, with, by allowing uh, its oil and its gas and its produced fluids to escape into the Gulf of Mexico. Um, they should have had better contingency planning. Um, they should have had better blowout prevention systems. There's lots of things that BP should have done. It is believed that it is inevitable that there will be uh, lawsuits by some of these uh, fishermen in particular, uh, one saying that this is worse than an atomic bomb, uh, that they're going to lose their livelihoods here, uh, shrimp, and, and in particular oysters. Um, what do you see as the potential cost to these groups? Well, if you uh, look at this, Louis just, just the Louisiana seafood industry is worth several billion dollars a year to uh, the fishermen and the processors. But it's worth a lot more than that because this is a way of life for these people. This is, these are generations upon generations of Acadian, uh, French, Spanish, and American descendants that have been fishing and hunting on this land um, for hundreds of years. And it, it means a lot more than just the loss of this year's crop or even uh, the crops um, going forward out of the sea. It means the potential loss of a way of life and the heritage of South Louisiana, which in my, in my opinion is one of the most richly diverse in the United States. Well, I, I did read that uh, if this spill c kills the estuary, it would take five to ten years for that to recover. I know they've instituted an early shrimping season so that uh, fishermen just over the past couple of days could try to salvage whatever they could before the damage is done. But oyster is apparently uh, more vulnerable. Is this season salvageable at all? Uh, we're really not sure. A lot of it depends on which way the wind's blowing in the next few weeks or to months. Um, it's highly doubtful that there's going to be a market for Gulf seafood for a while from this area uh, simply because the wholesalers and retailers are going to be concerned about it and are not going to want to spend time or money testing it when they can get um, shrimp from China, for example. Uh, the real problem here is what most people don't understand is that these, these fishermen are not wealthy people and um, once they stop fishing and once they go and find other jobs, there, there's not going to be a fleet there in the five years after the shrimp recover. The fleet will be gone, so All there right. won't be an industry anymore. That's the problem. All right, Stuart Smith, an attorney uh, for some of these uh, fishermen, thank you so much for joining us. John?